What makes coronavirus a particular challenge is that, like all viruses, it has a capacity to change. And so, as what we know about related viruses, such as SARS, doesn't always tell us exactly how to treat or prevent um, illnesses in people who might contract this particular coronavirus. You just have many unknowns. And we don't know how fast this is going to spread. And we don't know how infectious is going to be if it were to spread worldwide. And so it's important for us to generate scientific information as fast as possible to determine if what we know from having studied SARS will apply to this new coronavirus. The machinery that makes up the viral particles has many different functions. And so a great example would be if you were a factory, you might have many different kinds of machines that would be used to produce, for example, a car. And if you can block the those machines from functioning, you could block a car from being assembled. A virus works the same way, and it has to actually make many different components of that virus before that virus is fully intact. And many of those different machines can be blocked by introducing chemicals which can be developed as drugs. And we're particularly interested in the structure of those machines so we can understand how to keep those machines from functioning by introducing chemicals or potentially drugs that would block the function of that machine.